Hi, so good morning. Welcome again to this another series lecture about electrical wiring simulator. So today, we are going to do the seventh activity for our DC series parallel circuit. Okay, so let's proceed. Click this first menu and then let's go to activity number seven, which is the make or break. Okay, click the play, the normal mode. Okay, so we now have five components in this uh, circuit. Okay, so let's discuss the circuit first. So as what we can see here, we have the power supply again. This is the power supply. The push button number two, which is normally open. So this is normally open push button. And then we have a normally closed push button, which is PB1. So this is PB1, normally closed push button. And then we have the PL2, which is in this particular case here, color red. And then PL3, which is in this particular case, color green. Okay, so let's discuss first this uh, schematic diagram, the circuit diagram. Okay, so the moment we start our breaker or the moment we start or turn on our power supply, first is let's try to analyze what will happen to this PL2. Okay, so since this is a normally open push button, hence the current will not be able to flow from this side here to the load. Hence, this PL2 will be turned off. However, if we're going to press this one, it will create a close connection from this side here to this side here. Hence, this PL2 will be turned on. However, if we're going to release our push button 2, it will return to the original state, which is turned off. Okay, so in the next uh, level, so the moment we start our uh, power supply here, we can see that there is already a close connection or a closed circuit connection in this PB2 since this is a normally closed uh, push, bot push button. Hence, the current will be able to flow from this side here, from the positive side to the negative side of our power supply. Hence, this PL23 will be turned on. However, if we're going to press this PB1, it will create an open circuit between this line here and then this line here. Hence, this PL3 will be turned off. Okay, however, if we're going to release our hand from this push button number one, it will return to the initial state, which is the PL3 will be turned on. Okay, so to summarize, if we're going to start our breaker, the initial condition will be the PL2 is turned off and then the PL3 is turned on. Okay, so let's wire the circuit first and then let's try to simulate the circuit later on. So the first wire is we have to... so. We, I have to remind you that we are going to wire this type of diagram, okay? We have to wire it level by level, wire per wire. So in this particular case here, we are going to connect first the 24 volts to the input of our PB2. Okay, so next is we can connect the output of our PB2 to the input of the PL2. Okay, so next is the output of our PL2 to the negative terminal. Okay, so next is we have now to connect the input of our PB1 to the 24 volts. So again, in this type of circuit, we can also connect the input of our PB1 to the input of our PB2. So in this particular case, I think it would be easier if we connect it to the PB2 input. Okay, so next is the output of our PB2, uh, PB1, the output of our PB1 to the input of the PL3. Okay, so the last will be the PL, the output of the PL3 to the negative terminal of our power supply, or we can also connect this one to the 
output terminal of our PL2. So in this particular case, I think it would be easier if we are going to connect the PL3 out to the PL2 out. Okay, so it seems that our connection is correct. So let's click the submit button to verify. Okay, so pass. So it means the six wires are uh, connected correctly. So now let's try to start our simulation. So as what we can see in this particular uh, diagram, so the pilot lamp which is connected to the normally closed push button is already turned on. Okay, and then the source lamp, which is connected to the uh, normally open push button, is uh, turned off. However, if we're going to click this one, it will turn on the pilot lamp. And then if we're going to release this one, it will turn it off. However, if we're going to click this one, as of this moment, this is turned on. If we click this push button number one, the pilot lamp number three will be turned off. However, if I'm going to release this one, it will go back to its initial state, which is turned on. Okay, so see you in the next lecture.